So let me start off this vlog by saying how I think this is going to be my favorite vlog ever. Um, and that's because unlike the vlogs that I've done in the past, this vlog isn't even about me or my experiences really. It is centered on my favorite human being ever, and that is my sister. For those of you guys who don't know, my sister's birthday is coming up. It's March 7th, and I wanted to do something really special. Um, and she deserves the world and everything good that the world can offer. But sadly, I can't give her all of that. Um, but the least I can do is give her an, an experience that she's been wanting to have for like the longest while ever. And that's for her to go skydiving. And here I am, two weeks before our set date, I have officially bought the tickets for both my sister and I to go skydiving. So it's set. But here's the thing. My sister doesn't know about this whole plan. Like, it's a big surprise. In fact, like, I don't even think she sees this coming. Like, she thinks that we're going to some sort of water park or creek like she knows that I've been planning something for her but she doesn't know what it is exactly so I'm super excited to see her reaction and you guys will be seeing her reaction too because I'm going to be vlogging the whole process from her not knowing to her finding out when we pull up there um and even the post skydive but with that being said Adra I know you're watching this and um, I know you're mad at me for keeping this a huge secret and lying to you, but just know that I did this out of love um, and I love you. Happy birthday, Adra. Okay, hey guys, we're back and guess who's here? Woo, woo, woo. <laughs> okay, so it is currently like 6.30. We're about to head out super early. As you can tell, it's like, still so dark. dark like the sun hasn't um rise yet um but we are gonna start heading out start driving plus we have to grab you know some food okay guys we stopped to get food because Andrew and i are hungry this is my first time vlogging so i'm still trying to get used to my face so close up to the screen but i'm so excited i have no idea where i'm going this is exciting what do you think it is? Yeah. Um, Thank you. I told you, I think we're cliff diving, or I think we're doing this like Iron Man thing where we're running 5K and then swimming. Cause she keeps saying water. First of all, I'm the most like inactive person ever and I do not work out. So I don't know how we do it in that. <laughs> yeah, honestly, I have no clue. What's your favorite body part of mine? Your <laughs> lips! <laughs> Guys, we're so close that people think that's so weird that we're so close. Okay. Yeah, like we're so close. We like talk about the weirdest things. <laughs> Are you trying to convince the mother? We're so close, I swear. Yeah, I swear, so I promise! <laughs> Clicked. Okay, guys, we are here. Okay, ready? Uh -huh. Open. No, look up at the sign. Oh my god, no! Oh, indoor? No, it's outdoor. <gasps> no! <laughs> really? We're jumping out of a plane. 13,000 feet up in the air. No! <laughs> We're going skydiving, babe. <laughs> Do we have professionals? Yeah, us? we're gonna have a tr a guy who is a professional trainer. He's gonna be strapped onto you. We're gonna get on a plane, <laughs> and we're gonna jump, baby. We're gonna jump. <laughs> Thank you. 
we're back post skydive. Adra, talk about your experience. Go. I'm Fearless. I felt like nothing could stop me, and for like 40 seconds, I felt alive. Yeah. Like it's like the best feeling to feel. Like it's it's one of those feelings that I'll never get from any other activity. It's yeah. just a feeling of being alive and. And you're absolutely not in control, and that's the most split perfect. I felt like a bird. I felt like, okay, when we were jumping out, it was just like... How was your free fall? But I'll tell you. So, like, when I was jumping out, you know how, like, typically on, like, a roller coaster, you feel like your heart's flying out of your chest? You don't get that it's feeling. feeling. It's not that. You just feel a lot of wind. Mm -hmm. Like, that's all you feel. Like, I didn't feel scared. My heart just, was, like, it in just, place. You know you're going really fast. fast. That's it. That's it's just a lot of cold wind hitting you. And the thing you. is, your brain doesn't know how to process it, so it, does, it takes the fear out of it. It's more like trying to survive the fall. So mm -hmm. your brain's just like, it's okay, it's okay. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Uh, but my favorite part was the, when he let out the parachute. I loved it because it wasn't so fast where I couldn't see what I was doing. I was still high up. I could see everything. <laughs> and after that, I, I realized, like, what is fear anyway? Like, wow, you, uh, very deep. Uh. If you can conquer, like, if I could conquer something that I was so anxious about, nervous about, and that fear, like, when I was doing it, it was the best feeling ever. It was just, I think everyone should feel that way. Anything I do that I'm afraid of, I'm going to think twice and remind myself that you were so afraid of jumping out of that plane, but you did it and you felt so good afterwards. Like I felt so calm afterwards mm -hmm. that any fear that I have, I don't think it'll match up to it. Will Smith said the greatest, the greatest part of life is on the other side of fear. And did he really say that? He did. He skydived. I swear she makes things up. I guys. swear no. Can Look someone Google? Yes. Yeah, please Look verify that because I, I don't know. If he'll... He did. He skydived. And he said the whole time in the pl in the in the flight, he said it was like the worst feeling, but the minute he jumped, he goes everything just changed. Like he goes, it is the best feeling ever, and it was. Like mm -hmm. I wish we could fly, guys. I really wish we could fly. That's Good all we luck have to, say. to anyone who's skydiving.